Hey guys, it's Hannah here and I am back today with my hashtag Team Project Pan update number six. Why is it when I always start filming, my phone goes off? I would know. Um, I did already film this video. I've actually been house sitting for the last week and a half and I'd pre-filmed a heap before I left um, because I didn't feel comfortable filming in someone else's house and that's just is what it is. But somehow my computer kind of had a fritz while I was there and I'd lost all that footage but while I was there which is why it's been so long since you've seen a video from me um, this video I hadn't filmed no but the next few videos that you'll see I am refilming anyway it is what it is we're here um, I have some footage from then, some of it I don't have, but that will probably get you through most of July now since I haven't uploaded for like two weeks or something. But I'm here with an update. So let's just get into it. One of the videos I did film was an empties, again a week and a half ago, forgetting that I needed those products for this video. So I don't have the products I finished to show you, but we'll talk about them. Uh, let's go in order of application, like always, the Laura Mercier Pure Canvas Blurring Primer. Last check-in, it was introduced at 31 grams. Today, it is 23 grams. So, I'm really enjoying this primer at the moment. I'm, it is a 25ml or 0.8 fluid ounce product, so I think I still have at least two months in that. Um, I think it might even be a little bit longer, just because currently winter break here in Australia so I don't have work so I'm not wearing makeup as often because so I'm letting my skin have a break so I think maybe if this was a normal school month I could get through it in two months but we'll see how we go I'm enjoying it so happy to keep working with that um, as I said filmed and empties I finished off those 20 ease drops very quickly after um, I plan to um, and as I introduced last month, the Maybelline Fit Me Powder to finish that with, I probably had about a week left in the powder. So once I finished the Fenty, I used a combination that I really enjoyed of the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer and the It Cosmetic C Cream set with the Maybelline. And then I finished that Maybelline powder off as well. Because the foundation I wanted to introduce after the... Fenty is the Shiseido Synchro Skin Self Refreshing Foundation. Now this is the fullest coverage foundation. Oh, Too Faced Peach. Honestly, this might even be a little bit more than Too Faced Peach. This is either on par with or even a little bit more coverage than the Too Faced Peach Perfect Foundation. Now I have tried to pan this previously. Um, and it hasn't worked. Just go through it slowly. So. But it is winter. My skin works best with this foundation in winter. Um, so I'm hoping that... Look, I'm not hoping. I know I will get this done. Because it is now down to here. Okay. It is at the oil-free line. So if I don't get this done in the next two months of winter, I'm going to be really disappointed with myself. Because... I can use it as is in winter. So usually I would have to mix it with something more mattifying, but I don't need to at the moment. Um, I didn't want to wear this with the Maybelline powder because of the more coverage it is. I don't know if I finished that train of thought. So I wanted to finish the Maybelline with the lighter coverage and then introduce this with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Translucent Loose Setting Powder. I think this will outlast this product because this is a... 6 gram powder, it's weighing in at 34 grams, and it's still pretty full, um, whereas this should be finished in the next month or two, depending on how I go. So I'll have to think about the foundation I pull in after this, because this powder is a pure white powder, it doesn't change coverage, it can lighten a foundation, which is nice with this because it is slightly dark for me. but. April of 2021. Well, good thing it's nearly getting done. But these are my two products. This is 103 grams. This is 34 grams. And 
Hopefully the foundation's done, if not this month, next month. The powder, I don't know how we're going to go with that. Um, something I don't also know how we're going to go, that we are looking pretty good. We're looking down to about here on the Dior, Dior Skin Forever Correct Concealer. Last month it was 45 grams, now it's 44 grams. Um, it's going, it still has plenty of product on the wand. We'll see how we go. All right, paper products. Uh, my NARS, no, nope. Benefit Goof Proof. Um, if you don't know, this has come loose at the base. So I'm finding it difficult to mark, but I think there's still a heap of product in it because I haven't been using it. I'm hoping I get through it in the year, but I've just been enjoying using my tinted brow gel. So that's kind of gone to the wayside. Last month I introduced uh, the Charlotte Tilbury Bedroom Black Rock and Coal Liner and the Champagne Dreams Color Chameleon. Um, and I've had some reasonable progress on both of these. Um, so this is the Champagne, this is the Black. Yep. Um, I haven't used the Champagne as much as I could, but um, you'll see that in my what I wore in June makeup ask, makeup recap. Um, I didn't wear this as much as I could, but good progress. I think they're both going to take me the year, but it is what it is. But what should be done in the next month or two is my Marc Jacobs Primrose. Again, I'd say a month if I didn't think this was going to be a slow month. I'm right down the end here. So nearly there on the Marc Jacobs Primrose. Fenty Plush Puddin Intensive Recovery Lip Mask. This has been a lifesaver for this first month of winter, and you can tell in the progress. Last month it was 33 grams, today it's 30 grams. Um, de definitely been loving a thick layer of this at night with the cool winter air. It's doing great things for my skin, for my lips. But moving on to skin, we have the Clinique Moisture Surge Face Spray. I feel like I use this less in winter because it's cold. Um, I've marked it last month, it was 155 grams, now it's 134 grams, again about that 20 gram progress I had originally. I think this has probably got about three months left in it, is my thought, we'll see how we go. Um, I finished my peach pharmacy cleansing mask, so I'm going rotate to rotate in my blueberry one, which I must have finished the peach really early because I'm like halfway through this one already, so... Hopefully this will be done next update, but again, I don't know with using less makeup this month. We'll see. Um, my Paula's Choice Super Antioxidant Concentrate Serum was 84 grams, now it's 82 grams. Really, it's in here to remember to use it um, consistently, regularly, because it's not something that fits easily into my routine, but I'm liking what it's doing for my skin, so happy to keep plodding along with that one as well as the Kate Somerville Delicate, Reco Delicate Recovery Cream. I am looking really low on this. I think this should be done by the end of winter, which is again two months, so we'll see how we go. It was 168 grams, now it's 159 grams. So again, that kind of 10 gram progress um, each month. Again, hoping it'll be done in the next two months. I finished my Bondia Bright Cream, uh, which again went in my empties, um, and I have just a little baby uh, boom boom I'm going to try and use up this month. Shouldn't be difficult, but again, I'm not wearing work clothes, so I don't really care about moisturising as much. Um, so we'll see how we go. And then I had much less progress on my way. I thought I'd be finished, but I'm not quite. Um, but... That's okay. This should definitely be done by the next update. It was 27 grams, now it's 22 grams. I used 13 grams the first month. This month I used 5. That doesn't make sense. But it is what it is. That is it for my update on my hashtag Team Project Pan 2023. Why, whenever I say that, I get hiccups. 
please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Comment down below how you're going with your project and I will see you in, click subscribe to stay tuned for more and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.